Hello. Hello, it's time. Time to celebrate. Hello, everybody. It's that time. We're going to do this. Uh, when you come on, let me know you're on. I'm flying solo today. So um, let me know when you're here. And we are um, broadcasting through StreamYard. And most of you already know the drill. It's, it's StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook to give StreamYard permission so I can see your name. Can you guys hear me okay? Can everyone hear me? Can you see me? Everybody's good. Hello. We're so excited. Um, it is the Christmas reveal, guys. Um, and I am so excited. Like I told a couple people yesterday, I am absolutely giddy for this release. And it's a little bit embarrassing how excited I am <laughs> about this release. But um, Christmas time is my favorite time of year. I think this is my favorite release of the year. Um, we have 24, I think it's 20, I think we ended up 24 papers to show you. Um, this is just a very wonderful collection and I'm so excited. Um, hi, Yvette. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Susie. Thank you. I thought I would get a little bit festive. Hi, Terry. Hey, Jess. Hey, Victoria. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hello, Jajanka. All right. If I missed anybody, Roberta, Melissa, Cheryl. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Hey, Miriam. Um, hi, Ronnie. So a couple of you, I can't see your names. You do have to give StreamYard permission so I can see your name come through. It's um, StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. Um, so type a note. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I know we have uh, viewers all over the world, um, not just the United States, even though we are a U.S.-based US company. Um, but guys, we have been working so hard to bring you this release. Um, my my from my manufacturer and if she's watching i just want to say a huge thank you because i did not give her enough time to produce these papers and you guys i said please 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 can you turn them around in this time frame and she did just amazing thank you so much um and uh from my staff in atlanta to getting all of these pre-orders done and out and almost 100% correct. I have had a couple of people come back and say there were a couple of things, but those were actually my, they were actually my mistakes, <laughs> not my staff. So they have been working so hard to bring the retailers um, this release and get them to them. You know, most of them have them now. Uh, if not today, they should be arriving by Monday, most of them. Hey, Blanche. So at, they've all been told as soon as we were done with this live, then they can make their listings active and you can go buy them. Now our listing, so on decoupagequeen.com, anytime we do a new release, the first week we reserve it for our retailers only to purchase because some of, some of our retailers might be new or they might um, need to replenish pretty quickly. So the first week, you can only get these through our retailers. You can't get them at decoupagequeen.com. You won't be able to get them from us until next week. So if you want these, you have to go find a, find a retailer who has them today. All right, you guys, um, should we dive right in and take a look and see what we, what we did? <laughs> I don't know. Or, or should we chat a little bit longer? Or should what? Sh what should we do? Should we should we go for it? Or should uh, should we chat a little bit? Um, hey, Blanche. Okay, so we've got someone in Holland. We've got someone in Michigan. Um, we've got Pennsylvania. Oh, Latvia. I know who that is. Um, we have Jacksonville, Florida. Guys, we have our first retailer in latvia and she actually emailed me it's um leanne from hamelians she actually emailed me the other day and said she made her first sale and she was so excited 
um, you guys. So we're, we are really all over the world now. And uh, we're just so excited to have retailers um, from everywhere representing. We've got California, Canada, New York. Okay. All right. So I'm going to flip my camera. Um, you know what? Let me plug it in. I didn't plug in my second camera. I was so excited. <laughs> Hold on. Let me plug this guy in and we will see if it if it works for us um oh goodness i was so excited guys i um didn't get myself fully prepared ahead of time so hold on while i'm, while I'm fiddling with this stuff over here let's make sure that that works for a second thank you olga Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see if it, yep. Okay. So there, there we go. There we go. All right. Whoops. All right. So let's, um, can you all see that? Okay. Or do I need to, let's put a little bit of light on there. Can everybody see? Okay. Do I need to adjust my view at all? see hey Kimberly all right now since you guys can't see my face anymore I'm taking off the um I'm taking off the Christmas gear <laughs> and I dive right in okay okay now let's dive right in guys we have this is number 0353 all the way to 376 and we will start with number one. This is 353. This is designed by a, um, a former design team member of ours. She actually did some of our Christmas, or our, uh, sorry, our Halloween papers. Um, this is by Katie Ryan of Forest Lore. And this one is called Christmas Floral Black. So we have some beautiful poinsettias in red and white set against a um, black background with lots of beautiful greenery. I just love this one. I think it's going to be um, really versatile, very useful. This one actually comes in all five sizes. And I know several of our retailers did purchase this in large sizes, so it should be available. It's out there, guys. It should be av available. Um, in larger sizes as well, starting today. Hey, Lynn. Um, all right, so this is number 353, Forest Lore Black. All right, and I'm putting my paper in between, so no peeking in between until I pull it out. All right, so this one is pretty much the same. It's the same design um, set against a different colorway. So we have, instead of a um, black background, we have kind of a creamy off-white background, um, which I think is just as pretty, just as elegant. So you have two choices now in this pattern, um, depending on what you're, what you're doing. So I really love this one also. This is also obviously by Katie. This is from Forest Lore, and it's Christmas Floral White, number 354 very beautiful and very elegant and the last one that we have from katie for this release is uh forest lore snowflake dream and oops, somebody's calling me who's calling me spam risk i got a spammer calling me <laughs> um this one is called snowflake dream very soft very elegant very useful paper some of you may remember a few years ago, I had one called Soft Snowflakes, um, which is now retired. And in my mind, this one is really replacing that as kind of our all around, all purpose, useful snowflake paper. This one I think is a much cleaner design, um, very pretty. And just, I can see this being used as a backdrop for so many things. So great job to Katie. And um, I'm glad she designed with us one more time this, this release. So, all right. So next up we have um, Lynn, I, Lynn from L&J Goods. 
I saw her pop on. So she's actually here in the comments. So she can answer any questions that you might have about this next series of papers. Um, not to put her on the spot. <laughs> Let me take a sip of my drink here. All right. So number 356. Now, before I show you these, um, let me just tell you, Lynn actually painted all of these by hand and I saw pictures of the paintings. I thought they are just, they're so beautiful. And um, anyway, <laughs> the concept that she was going for was kind of a, a very retro, like from the 50s, pink and aqua um old school sort of look and i just think she captured it so beautifully on these um you know she hasn't been painting for very long from what i understand and you know she just does an amazing job so i'm so excited to bring you her um collection of christmas themed rice papers and we've got let's see six of them i believe so this is number one this is called retro christmas one and the next one is pretty similar in terms of the colorways and the overall feel. But then you also have these beautiful snow dusted pine cones on them as well. I don't know how she got her circles so exactly correct. <laughs> Maybe she used a stencil. I don't know. Um, and as she points out, you do have still a lot of space for adding your own creative em embellishments. Um, you know, and these would be very conducive to some of the snow products and things that are out there as well. Um, just so pretty, so elegant. You could literally frame it just as it is and it would be perfect. Um, all right. And then next up we have Retro Christmas 3. Now this one is same color scheme, but done in reverse. So we have the pink background and then we have an aqua tree it looks like with some flocking um little hints of snow in the snow dust i don't know how well you can see but there are little specks of white very beautiful um so just just really lovely very beautiful and then finally we have retro christmas four um so I'll show you, well, actually, we've, we, we do have a four pack also, so you can see them all together. Um, so really, really well done, beautiful. And I think, again, you could literally just frame them <laughs> and hang them as is, which sometimes a lot of people do. Like decoupage doesn't always have to be some fancy project. A lot of people actually do frame our papers. In fact, um, when Heather and I had our booth in Marietta, a lot of the times we would, that's what we would do is we would frame the decoupage papers and we sold, we sold them as prints. Um, and so uh, that worked out really well, but this is the four pack. Um, so this is all four of the ones that I just showed you. And this is smaller versions of each one. So if you wanted to go like really Meta, this is a term that Yvette uses, like you could decoupage an ornament, the ornaments on the ornament. <laughs> Did I just blow your mind? Um, you know, but there's a lot, a lot of things that you could do with these, like little book covers or gift tags. Like how pretty would that be um, on a little, like the four of these done on little gift tags, right? So um, super cute. All right, so that's the four pack, um, which I always love doing the four packs. The more I do the four packs, the more I really like doing them um, as sort of their own because I'm really loving having these smaller sizes available to us. Um, okay, and so finally, last but not least, we have some Christmas themed words. And I hope that my camera is turned the right way around so that you can read these. If not, I apologize. Um, but we have comfort and joy. We have Oh Holy Night. We have Peace on Earth. Savior is Born. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Uh, repeat the Sounding Joy. Silent Night. And they're all kind of done a little bit differently. Um, <laughs> um, 
So we have, you know, just different uh, sizes of type, typology, um, really, really useful. I can see myself using this quite a bit this coming season to the point where I may need her to do three or four more different sets for me next year. So, um, all right, so that is number 361, well done, Lynn. Thank you so much for doing this again with us. Um, you may be seeing some more of, of Lynn uh, in the spring. Just, just, just a little hint there for you. Okay, so next up we have um, Victoria from Old to Ooh La La, who is a repeat, repeat guest designer with us. Um, she has done so many people asked us for Redbirds and Cardinals in particular. Um, so here we go. We have some red birds for you and we also have a uh not so red bird this is um kind of a cardinal uh with a grayish tone um so here is a two pack of the red birds this is um number 362 and these two guys are side by side so you actually get two two prints on one sheet and then next up is Ulta Ooh La La. This is Christmas scenes. So we have six square, small little scenes here. Um, each are a little bit different. We've got a gingerbread house, a little chubby bird, an ornament, a Christmas tree, some holly, and a birdhouse. Um, and just so cute, you know, so cute and so useful. This one, these, hers come in uh, A4 and A3. Lens come in A4 all the way up to A0. And again, I know some retailers ordered lens in the bigger sizes as well. The male and female cardinal, got it, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy, I'm not up on my um, cardinal knowledge. <laughs> all right, um, next up we have uh, the same designs that I just showed you, but they're done a little bit smaller because we know some of you are really liking the smaller sizes. Um, so here we go. We've got these. Effectively, this is now A6. Okay, these two designs. And then this one, these ones are a little bit smaller than that. All right, so that is Victoria's. Thank you again, once again, Victoria, for doing this with us. And I actually saw her in the comments too. Um, and so she has hand painted these for us. And again, we're just so excited to have these in our collection as well. Okay, so that is it, you guys, for guest designers on this release. The next ones that you'll see on here are actually mine. Um, uh, Dainty and the Queen did not do a Christmas set for us this year, even though I begged her to. Um, so we'll keep working on her maybe for something next year, but hopefully she'll bring us some more good stuff in the spring. No pressure, no pressure at all, Aveda. No pressure, Aveda. <laughs> okay. Okay, number 365. And you guys, like, um, just so you know, naming these things is getting really hard. I try to keep the names um, kind of short, you know, like two, maybe two to three words uh, max. Um, but it is getting hard because, you know, it's hard to find something descriptive enough that's only two or three words, right? Um, <laughs> no pressure, sweats profusely. Um, so I actually took this whole stack of paper before we had named them. I took them out to my team, you know, here in Atlanta, and I placed the papers in front of them. I said, okay, you guys, you have the most important job. You have to now name these papers. So most of these names came from my staff in Atlanta um, because I'm just not, not um, getting creative anymore with the names. <laughs> I know a lot of companies just do the numbers we're still naming our papers. I just think it's a little bit more personal. Um, so we'll continue with that. But, you know, we may have to start repeating, you know. So anyway, um, I'll shut up about that. This is called Wandering Winter. Um, and I really just wanted, like, I really love these 
old vintage postcards that I that are set against these very snowy backdrops. Um, <laughs> I'm sure team had made mine. I know, I know. We'll we'll get creative. We'll we'll have a little. We we got some time to think about it for the next one. Um, but I just love these very snowy backdrops, you guys. And these are actually so bonne année in French means Happy New Year. So these are not necessarily. They could be used as they don't have to be Christmas. They could be used as winter themed, um, you know, for decoupage or also New Year's as well. Um, so these are vintage ladies. This is called again, wandering winter. And I just love the red in this one. I love the red, um, the hints, the pops of red, and then here are some pops of pink. Um, so beautiful vintage postcards, wandering winter. All right. Next up we have number 366. This one is called Coral Angels and that's C-H-O-R-A-L as in singing angels. Um, we've got several playing little instruments, um, harps, for example, whatever this long instrument is here, um, all sepia tones, all consistent in their colors, um, very muted and, uh, and beautiful, right? So this is Coral Angels. Um, all right, so next up we have Snow Babies and you probably, you already saw a sneak peek of this one um, a little bit earlier today. This is my, um, Josie, this is her favorite. She says she really loves this little kid here throwing the snowball. He just, she said he just has like such a mischievous little look. But um, I think my favorite one on this one is these little three. They look like carolers or something, but so cute, so precious. We haven't done a lot with the like children before. Um, so this is our, uh, this is our, tribute to that. So snow babies. And again, not doesn't it necessarily have to be Christmas. These are these could be great for just winter, um, you know, winter themed projects. And again, you can use lots of snow products and ice and things like that. Very conducive to that. I have started a project with this paper. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to share that one pretty soon too. And I think um, this one is going to be pretty useful now. Actually, I'm going to put that to the side right now because first I need to show you the four individual ones. <laughs> and then I'll show that one. I got it a little bit out of order. All right. So this is number 369. This is Shabby Santa. Okay. So Shabby Santa. And so we've got a vintage Santa his robe is more burgundy. Um, we introduced a lot of pink colors, pink tones into uh, into some of these papers. So you've got some roses um, and uh, a really bright pink bow. And then you have this little floating cherub head, um, which I just think is so cute. But Josie, my staff member, said that this little cherub head freaks her out. <laughs> I think it's precious, but um, anyway, she was like, no, that's creepy. <laughs> I don't think it's creepy. I think it's cute. So this one is called Shabby Santa. Um, and that is the first and kind of what I'm calling the pink, pink collection, I guess. Um, next up, we have Pink Christmas. And he is wearing a white, off-white winter coat. Um, holding a little green tree and the backdrop is cream, but you have these little uh, pink, um, you know, uh, fleur-de-lis type elements in there. Um, and then the Merry Christmas. This is a, a pretty popular um, vintage uh, Christmas element, but we've done it really small here and we've done it in pink. Um, and so this one is called Pink Christmas. Okay. So again, you can use, use it all together, or you can break out the pieces and just use the elements from it. 
your choice. Okay, next up we have um, Shabby Angel. And um, she is just a beautiful little white uh, white coat. She's also got the cream coat um, with the pink roses in the basket. And there's some roses on the Christmas tree. And, of course, the backdrop here is pink. Um, and then this says Merry Christmas. So, again, you could just use the elements from it or you can use the whole thing. Shabby Angel. And next up we have, this one is probably, is the one I was holding yesterday um, as my favorite from the collection. This is called A Bright Christmas. And so it's this angel, looks like she's gracing the front of a doorway, kind of standing sentinel, if you will. Um, and then you have this mes message here, A Bright Christmas. Um very and then the whole backdrop is pink and lots of little floral elements in it as well um she's holding like some sort of uh, actually she's not holding anything it looks like she's holding a book but she's not um so number 372 a bright christmas and i actually have a, my next project is going to be with this one and then okay so now i can show you now i can show you the four pack okay so each of the individual, these individual papers come in A4 and A3. This one also comes in A4 and A3. A3. Um, so this is the four pack of all of them. And um, we have some really fun projects to show you throughout the next few days done with this paper. Um, Nancy, Yvette, and, and I, all three chose this paper to kind of bring you some interesting projects. So um that's the next one and next up we have vintage christmas minis it is a whole sheet of all of the ones that i just showed you done in tiny tiny size because those have started to become like really popular to do much um smaller projects and just as an example like See these little um, necklaces. Lisa from Sweet and Sassy does these quite does these quite a bit, and like just think like you know to do like a little pendant or something with some of these little tiny prints. How fun and cute that would be! Um, so yeah, it's a good size for little smaller things and even smaller size gift tags. You know, so um, we're we're trying to think for smaller crafts and things like that as well. Um, so effectively, like, you know, you get, you can get these, these images and uh, I, don't, I haven't done the math. I haven't counted them, but um, you can get them in a lot of different sizes <laughs> because this paper comes in A3 as well. So then, you know, you could get this in A6 as well. So, um, Anyway, thinking beyond just A4 and A3, now we're scaling them so that you can effectively get them in A5, A6, and A7 as well, okay, which is the smaller. So when you do the international sizes, the bigger the number, the smaller the piece of paper. So, <laughs> um all right, so next up we have number 374, which is Madonna and Child Scenes. Um, so in the fall, we gave you a nativity scene, the Botticelli's nativity, which is still available. Um, and now this is sort of the uh, picture of Mary with the baby um, and some other kind of smaller nativity scenes as well. Um, this one I think is just so pretty because it's like, it's done in pastels, um, really soft colors. And then this one is very um, kind of old world themed. So is this one. So a uh, whole sheet of different options for um, kind of nativity and um, Mary and Jesus scenes. Okay, so number 375. All right, we're almost done, guys. I can't believe it. Um, number 375, this is uh, Winter Damask. 
and it's a gray and white, very soft, very elegant. Um, and I've held it up to, you know, to several of our peepers side by side and it really works well, you know, with, with almost all of the Christmas papers, just a nice neutral. Um, so winter damask, uh, you know, and again, keep in mind too, like you can actually, um, color these with transparent watercolor once your project is done. So you could actually make this any color you wanted it to be. Um, okay. And then, so that's it for Christmas. Now, the way our releases fall, we actually, our next release won't be until probably February, early March. And the way our releases fall, we always seem to skip Valentine's Day or we just don't have enough time for Valentine's Day. So I did contemplate that and we did add a Valentine's Day paper in here uh, in the Christmas collection so that we don't keep on missing it. So hopefully next year we'll be able to do a couple more Valentine's prints in the Christmas release as well. But we did throw in a couple of Valentine's Day, um, actually just one paper. And these are some vintage little uh, images that are just so cute. Now, I think um, my favorite in this one is this one here. And if you if you read the uh, read the top of it, it says, I want to die poor, which is so appropriate for crafters. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. Um, you know, sometimes when I do these, I'll like edit, you know, and kind of add my own things or Photoshop things out or whatever. On this one, I left it alone because I just thought that was so cute. Um, and I have no idea. I mean, these are really old, you know, old images. So I have no idea why it says that. I just thought it was hilarious. So anyway, it's my little sense of humor um, taking hold and catching on. So that's it, guys, for the Christmas release. We had an hour scheduled. Um, Yvette, Yvette was going to pop on with me, but uh, she was not able to. So I'm flying, flying solo today, which takes me a little bit less time than having, um, having a partner to chit chat with. So I hope you love it. And again, these are available. All of our retailers know they can uh, list these immediately following. So you, you'll be able to find these with your normal decoupage queen retailer. And again, for one week only um, on our site, they're only going to be available for our retailers. Next week, around the same time, they'll be live um, for anybody to purchase. But we do reserve this first week for our retailers who might have missed the pre-order order or who need to replenish their stock. So um, we encourage you to shop with our amazing retailers. And we're um, just beyond excited for this collection. And we hope that you enjoyed it. And remember, when you do projects, Post them in our group so we can see. We love seeing your um, your projects inspired with our peepers. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch with me today. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And we will see you again really soon. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.